Computer science is regarded as one of the hottest degrees right now. But what is it really like studying computer science in a Nigerian university? Hmm. From coursework to challenges, I will explain on this video. So let's get into it. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a recent computer science graduate from Covenant University. And on today's video, I'm going to be sharing details about my course computer science degree in Covenant University. So if you are an aspiring computer science student, this video is for you. Or you really just want to know what computer science is really about before you make that decision, this video is for you. So before we get, get into the video properly, I would like you to know that I wrote a book titled to Navigating Computer Science. On that book, I shared so many details. I shared from my first year courses, I shared what computer science really is. I shared um, study tips for computer science students. I shared um, internship opportunities, how to learn internship opportunities as computer science students. I also shared how I navigated some journey because definitely there were difficult times. So I shared so many things and it is quite detailed. I also attached re resources that I made use of. So the book comes at an affordable fee it is very very affordable the link to the book is down below in my description box do well to check it out so let's get into the video properly so first of all i would like to explain what computer science is exactly about so computer science um is not the same as computer studies we did in secondary school so computer science is the study of computers will be there when I say study of computers, I'm not just saying the hardware, the software. We are studying the concepts behind the behind how the computer works. We are studying principles related to computers. We are talking on operating system. We are talking about the compiler constructions. And even more, we are talking about the advanced part of computers. So that is what differentiates the computer science and computer studies. So now I'm going to be sharing each year. So for computer science in Covenant University, it was for four years. And for each year, there were two semesters, the first semester and the second semester. So the first year is considered one of the easiest years because it's just basically a transition from secondary school to university. So you are basically still doing some secondary school related courses. So for me, my first semester of my first year, I took courses like biology, I took courses like chemistry, I took courses like physics, I took courses like math, math related courses like calculus and vector, and I also took an introductory course to computer science. So someone might be wondering why we are actually taking biology, chemistry, and physics. I'll explain now. So let's think about computers and let's talk about electronic circuits. So definitely, we are we are studying circuits, so that is why we are we have a we have to study physics. Do we get then for chemistry and biology? We are studying molecules. We are studying uh, diseases. We are studying those things. We are in the age of bioinformatics and computational biology, so that is why it's very important for us to take biology and chemistry. But not everybody goes into that field. But it's just very. I won't say compulsory, but it's quite important to take those courses. Yeah. So apart from those three, physics, biology, and chemistry, we took math, as I've said before, math courses are vectors and calculus. Then we took an introductory course to computer science. So in that introductory course to computer science, it was just basically problem solving. Like they were introducing us to problem solving because a core skill for a computer science student is problem solving. So moving on to the second semester of the first year, where we took a continuation to computer science courses. So for but this time we went we, we took a principle which is operating system. So we studied operating systems. Then we also took math courses as well as physics courses. This second semester, we didn't have to take biology or chemistry. So we took physics, more of math courses and um, computer science courses. And we took our very first program, a programming language called C. So moving on to the second year of computer science, which I consider the hardest year. 
I consider that the hardest year because that is when you are properly in the university. Like, there's no more secondary school courses now you are in the advanced level so you are taking computer science related courses in their numbers so for a semester i could take four or five computer science related courses so in my first semester of my second year i took courses like c plus plus i took courses like python i took courses like databases i took a continuation to operating system and even more so there were a lot of computer science courses in that semester so moving on to the second semester of the second year where i took statist statistical methods mathematical methods i also took parallel programming and even I also took computer hardware and um, more so moving on to the third year which i consider one of the best year for me because um you're spending one semester in the school and in the second semester you are going for your compulsory six months internship so for the first year of the for the first semester of the third year i took courses like system analysis and design i took internet programming i took research methods and even some um, operations research so it was just we just took those courses for the third year then moving on to the second semester of the third year where i took where i went on my internship and if you watch my previous video i i taught how to land internship opportunities as a computer science student in nigeria so moving on to the fourth year which was a difficult year for me because it felt like i was done with school why did i say i was why, why did i say i feel like i was done with school so coming back from the internship i was out of school for six months so it felt like i was done with school but in my fourth year i took courses like artificial intelligence i took numerical methods i took discrete structures i took computer graphics and animation and that's basically all i took for the fourth year but i, I would say the fourth the first semester of the fourth year wasn't so hard but because i felt like i was done with school so i was quite relaxed i didn't put so much effort into my to my test so i didn't do so well so i tried to gather the momentum for my exam which i did but my test score really affected it so i didn't get the result i particularly wanted so moving on to the second semester of the fourth year where you have to write your final year project that final year project takes the largest units in your coursework so so it, it required so much work so apart from my final year project i took other courses like hci which means human and computer interaction i took um, computer networks i took a continuation to computational biology and i took um organization of programming languages so that's basically all that i took so for my final year i was quite hmm, relaxed and chilling at first but later on it was i tried to gather momentum but that was towards the internet so it was just a lot so for the final year i would say that you should be able to you should learn how to balance things and give pri give priority to what requires priority like do what you're supposed to do at first so for example when you're supposed to pay attention to your coursework pay attention to it when you're supposed to pay attention to your project pay attention to it so basically computer science is the study of computers by studying the principles behind computer or any concept related to compute to computers i'm sure you guys heard when i said i took artificial intelligence i took computer animation and graphics so we're just studying concepts related to computer science and these concepts are split into courseworks and that's what we take each semester so i hope i've been able to give you a light introduction about computer mm -hmm. science so for more for more information or for a well detailed roadmap you should check out my book the, the link to download the link to buy the book is in my description box below do well to check it out so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share drop a comment and please subscribe if you're new here thank you and bye i wasn't done in i wasn't done with school
but I wasn't, I'm sorry guys, but I wasn't done with school in any ways. 